we have a yes, no, yes, no. So these are great if you want to ask somebody if they would like to proceed. Okay, so we've got the basics out of the way. What is um, an example of when we would use something like this? Okay, so let's go into our actual workbook here. And let's say this data will be deleted. Okay, so let's say we have some sort of macro that's going to be clearing this data and replacing it with new data. Um, so we'll have some function in here that's going to check for existing data. Um, and then we'll say data found equals true. And then if data found, then we're going to check. Then we're going to ask to delete or exit. So we're going to look for data and we see that our data is found. So now we're going to say, okay, um, do you want to delete this data? So in here we'll say output equals message box. Um, this action will delete existing data. Do you want to continue? And we'll say um, data found. And we don't need the title yet because we instead need our VB um, message box style. So for this one, we are going to, let's delete this. So we have our prompt, and now we want to come down here, and we want to do a yes, no. And then for our title, um, we'll just say um, data found. Okay, awesome. Then here I'm just going to debug.print our output. Okay, so let's say we run our function. Um, and here, this action will delete existing data. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, if we hit yes, it's going to return a 6. Um, I'm just going to delete this. If we run it again and now we click no, it's going to return a 7. Okay, so now what we need to do is say, well, if output equals VB yes, oops, then exit sub. Okay, and I'm going to just double check. Got to come over here and VB yes, it will return a 6. Um, let's go back in here and then we exit the sub um, otherwise we will debug.print delete data okay so what will happen is it finds the data it says hey do you want to continue and then if we say yes we exit sub but we don't want to if it equals VB no, we exit sub because what we're saying is no, we don't want to continue. Um, so let's try running. This action will delete existing data. Do you want to continue? No, I don't. I don't want to delete my data. No, you see nothing happens. If we run again and we say this action will delete existing data, do you want to continue? I click yes delete data. So my data has been deleted. And just to show you what that would look like, let's say we do active sheet dot range and our range for this is um, A1 to C2 and then we say um, delete. Right? Okay. Let's go in here and take a look. So A1 to C2 if we run this, we run macros, learn message box. This action will delete existing data. Do you want to continue? No, I don't. Our data is just fine. But we run it again and we say, do you want to continue? 
yes, and our data has been deleted. Okay, so that is a great example of how we would use a yes, no.